And please confirm. Hi, this is Evelyn. One more time. I'm sorry about the technical issues. Um, Time Warner has been, I've been having problems. Um, so I hope that you can all are able to hear me and see me or see the graphics that I have out there. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes so that we can start our conversation and our masterclass all about the house manual. So please, if you can hear me and see the graphic, um, please just press yes on the chat room. Um, I'll be waiting for a little bit. Um, hi, Mark. Mark from where? Mark it doesn't want to tell us where he's from. Yes, yes, you could hear me. Okay, fantastic. So let's start one more time. I, again, I'm, I apologize for any technical issues. They tend to happen. All right, so um, we are going to talk today about the house manual. And this is a great topic that I love and very dear to my heart. Please note, like I've always stated, this is not an Airbnb sponsored event. This is me talking to you because I want to share my knowledge with all of you. But Airbnb knows about me, but this is, has nothing to do with them. Okay? So now, a little bit about me. I used to... Until 2010, I found out about Airbnb uh, when the economy crashed and so did my career. Um, and then I started Eveland in 2010. In 2012, I started talking uh, about the sharing economy. That's Brian Chesky behind me. And I spoke to the press and I spoke to the state legislators because, um, you know, I am a firm believer of the sharing economy. And then in 2014, I started Evelyn Badia Consultations, where I speak everything about Airbnb. Last year, it was my privilege to be part of the Airbnb Open. I was one of their host educators, and it was a fantastic experience, except for how it ended, but I was very happy to be there. And now let's talk about the house manual. So my house manual was a drawer with maps and guides, and this is when I started back almost six years ago and you know I used to just have some takeout menus and a house drawer with a bunch of information and then you know Airbnb created their the little map and I gave that I had that for a little while but it was still not great and through the years I started building something and now this is my house manual this is what I give my guests it's an actual binder with tons of information um, I actually do it this is my front door so it's branded to my house. It has the branding of my um, of all my stuff. And this is what my guests say about my house manual. They say they thank me. They great tips on welcome book. So almost all of my reviews have a mention about my house manual. Um. So, you know, I want you to know that it's a very huge tool for your guest, okay? So now, your house manual answers questions before they're asked. And I'm going to go to the chat for a minute because it seems like some people are having technical difficulties. And I'm going to tell Pat to please help them out. Um, she is um, working with me. The, the chat, so like that. It is very bl blurry. Um, it could be your connection, Fiona. I'm so sorry. It has to do with your download, actually, and it should be able to get clearer in a little bit. Um, I know it's recording clear over here. Um, yes, please, if you're having any issues, please sign out and, and re-enter. And I know that the, the webinar might seem blurry, but it will go back and, and it will get all clear up. Um, okay, so everybody's here and you are working. Okay, exactly. So it, it will be okay. Juliet's not blurry for her in Memphis. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm so glad that everybody's working. So let's go back to our, our topic because I have a lot to talk about. Um, your house manual answers questions before they're asked. That before your, your, your guest has the questions about what's the Wi Fi code. It's in the manual, and they already have it there. So if you have a bunch of different guests, 
they could just you know get it once what where's the train station how do i get there it's in the manual believe me i love telling that to my to my guests any recommendations of restaurants it's in the manual all right so they know that any information they need it's in the manual now what i'm going to talk about today is what's essential in a house manual which is your home extras your neighborhood and what sets you apart it will be about your city um and if you see pat on the chat she is with me she she could answer any questions or help you out with tech support and what is essential in your home in your house manual portion of your home is your address the reason why you need the address there and i know you're saying but they were they're in my house already but if they're getting food delivery if they're getting picked up by a car service anything like that they do need the address okay so it's great to have it in the house manual also how to contact you is it via phone via text do you have a person that manages your property how do they contact them and this is somebody that picks up the phone not somebody that just um is never going to answer it okay also house rules it's a great place to re reintroduce your house rules that they probably forgot about so if you have them in the paper there in the part of the house manual it's a great thing excuse me a minute also any info emergency information i've had had guests that had to go to the doctor um they had uh, one of them had a, a swollen knee and everything else and all that information it's in the house manual and they didn't have to wait for me okay transportation like i stated before transportation is a great thing to have in your house manual from how to um how to get there and everything else so you know from how to get to your house to how to get to different places all right um home information and by home information i mean remote control climate control um is there anything specific about your home that your guest needs to know for example i have this fantastic shower that i got this past year in a renovation well i have to tell my guests how to use it every single time but if i'm not home i have an instructions on the house manual we actually even photos of it and what knobs to turn because they, it's 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 beautiful and fantastic once you know it okay now a great thing to have also is check out information it reiterates what is going on what to do what to do if you're not home so it's great to have all of that in the house manual that's the extensions that's the minimal information you should have as part of your house manual now the extras your neighborhood you know your neighborhood this is you've probably been living there for a while you know the great little places and i totally understand look you don't want to be a travel guy you sort of feel like oh let them go to yelp or let them google the places but you're the one that has all this information about a great place and a great coffee place so in your neighborhood session of your house manual you could have restaurants and one of the things that i do is not only do I have the name of the restaurant, the cuisine, an address, a website, a phone number, I have a little note from me of why I recommend it. I actually even have a little Google map with directions from my house to that restaurant. So they know how long is it gonna take, is it a block away or is it like three blocks? Remember, you guests don't know your home. And if you don't, if you wanna stop the questions, you better just give them the answers. So great cafes, I've had guests that go to the same cafe for the whole week. Some parks, if they come with children, it's great to give them information about some children's parks. Some stores that are in your neighborhood that you like, so they don't have to go to the, all the, just the tourist attractions, they could just visit your neighborhood and support it. Bakeries, just in case there's a special occasion, I've had come people here for birthdays and things like that. They want to get a cake, so you have information like that in the house manual. Shopping, if they have access to the kitchen, it's great for them to have groceries and more than one. Um, I actually have about three grocery stores. One of them that's gourmet, another one that's Whole Foods, and then something local. 
that is closer and more price conscious. Um, so they have choices, all right? If you have any specialty store, I have a couple of vintage stores here in the neighborhood, so I send them to that as well. It is a busy neighborhood, some, some neighborhoods are not. But if you have any specialty stores in your neighborhood, it's a great thing to have in your house manual. Bars. <laughs> yes, beyond belief, you have bars. Now, what sets you apart in your is your city. This is what takes your house manual to the nth degree. Okay? And what I mean is this. They're coming to your city. They're going to visit the same places most of the time, so especially if they're tourists. So they're going to visit some attractions. So if you in your house manual, you have a session of tourist attractions, some quiet spots, some fun zones for the for families, things beyond your neighborhood, places that they could go and that they're going to see all the time. Believe me, everybody that comes to New York, you know, especially if they the first time in New York, they're going to go to Central Park, they're going to go to Statue of Liberty, they want to go to Times Square. I already know exactly where they want to go. So I have it in the book and I have information on how to get there, restaurants that I recommend in the neighborhood. And I just did this once and it lives. It just lives in the book. I don't have to do it again. Any hidden gems, that great beach that you know, that great little cafe, that great little spot, any special events. For example, here in New York on the summertime, Governor's Islands have this great event on the weekends, they have free bikes. Here in my neighborhood, they have concerts in the park, so I try to get them that information. So like that, everybody has it. So anything seasonal is great for you to have in the book. You do it once, the seasonal events don't change that much. All right, now, something that I started last year was itineraries, and this is, this is a big old thing. I had guests that shared space with me, and there was this lovely family from Germany. It was a dad and his kids. They, he was a widow. And it was their first time in New York. And each one of the teenagers had different places. But, you know, everybody wanted to see the same thing first time in New York. And they were just wasting time trying to plan their day. And I literally sat down and just gave them three days itineraries. How to go about seeing the city without wasting time and transportation. Because if you know New York... You could go Grand Cent, you could go Central Park, you could go the Statue of Liberty, and you could go Soho, but you're spending more time traveling or, or getting tired. So instead, I gave them itineraries of how to divide the city and how to do it in, in a smart way for them to take advantage of the little time that they have. So this is, this is just a little bit more that you might want to do right now, but it's just something for the future for you to think about. My guess is it, and I wrote it once, and I just put it in the book and people still use it nowadays, okay? So now, what you're providing there is address, like I said before, transportation, nearby restaurants, and my transportation is how to get there. How to get there from your house, okay? And any website or links, for example, I have Central Park um, information, so I have, this is a good place to go eat, this is a great place to get some bikes and this is some discount codes. So this is information that you get through the time. I know, right? The itineraries, isn't it a great idea? <laughs> thank you so much. I mean, and it was very, basically, thank you, Anna Marie. It was a fluke. It was just, I wanted to get the, the guests out of the house and they just were not leaving quick enough. Um, <laughs> and it was taking that right. Take control of their vacation or, or they're never going to leave. And believe me, it's, it happens to all of us. We go to a new place. You might have some ideas of where you want to go, but you don't know what your day consists of because you don't know the town. Okay. Now I wanted to ask you, do you have a house manual right now? And please just on the chat, say yes. Or, or, you know, do you have anything? Are you, you know, is it just a piece of paper? Um, I know of, of friends of mine that are hosts who just have pieces of paper. And, and I'm like, please, please give them something else. Give something else to those guests, those poor, poor guests. Well, the question is, what does your current house manual say about your home? Is it inviting? Is it welcoming? Is it cohesive? Is it this great information for your guest? 
or is it just that stained piece of paper with a handwritten code? All right. Oh my God, I love it. You somebody has a laminated on their bed. Um, what happens if the information changes? You really have to laminate. Exactly. So you have all this information that it's great to provide to your guests. Now, I want you to prepare before your next guest or guests arrive. They're coming into your home and they're to your town and they're just a little lost. And it is beyond your home. I love it. Oh my God, Jova has a three ring binder with pockets for menus. But now do you ask, do you, do you have recommendations of those menus and or do they know where to go or what to do? Yeah, exactly. You see, it's that drawer of like, go get it there. I mean, this is just a more cohesive binder to provide to you guys. And look, I know we're not travel agents. We're just doing Airbnb. We have a life, but this gives them information and it gives you freedom believe me um so what i've done if you feel overwhelmed by by the thought of like oh my god all this information that i have to provide to my guests you and you don't have the time to redo it again you don't need to reinvent the wheel um what about a web page manual with links well you know what happens is with a web page you have to have internet what happens if they don't I understand and there's some um, websites out there that do provide um, websites um, that provide all the house manuals, but sometimes we want, you know, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little older and I want paper, I want a binder, I want something for me to print and to have in my hand and to probably look at somebody else. So yes, in addition to paper, yes, you could have a website and you could send them there, it's a great way to do. Um, I, I understand about the exactly. It doesn't look good. The web, the Airbnb guide is sort of like, eh, it doesn't have great information. And what happens if if your guests don't have a computer or their phones are dead or anything like that? You know, it's a great thing to have some paper. So, what I've created for you, my dear hosts, is a personalized house manual. It is something. Um, Jenny, no, the house manual they get once they book and once they're in my house. Okay. Um, so exactly, you see, Adrian, you have weak Wi-Fi. You have to give them information. And and sometimes it's like, you know, the Wi-Fi might be down, their phones might be down, they might not be coming with a computer or something like that. And you want some some tangible item. So I created this template for you where you do it once and you'll be done. That's it. You do it once and, and you'll be done with it. And the house manual has the essential part where it has the welcome, house rules. It is, has train information, um, how to check out, all of that. It has all divided by sessions for you to just fill out, okay? It has multiple header themes. I have landscape themes. I have skylines. I've been working on this for a long, long time. So, um, and you could customize it to your listing. This is one of my favorite hosts. He bought the, the house manual a while back and he is a notice in for Lauderdale. So his house manual has a photo of him. He has a good button to show. Um, but if you have sunsets, you could make this house manual your own for your own listing. You could brand it. I had, a uh, host who bought it and she has chickens, so her headers are chickens, okay? So, you know, it's a great thing for you to personalize. I know, don't you love the picture of these buns? At least the guy, he has some good buns to show it off. Um, but if you have something unique about your listing and about your home, your header can have that and it shows. I have a friend who has a house in Saratoga and you know, he loves horses, so it would be great to have some horses on his headers and things like that. Now, um, in addition to the house manual template, you also have a neighborhood template. It's all set up. All you have to do is, on the restaurant part, write down the restaurants, children's parks, where they are. I have from stores, groceries. We've been working really, really, really hard about, on this. Yeah, exactly. If you raise, you raise butterflies, look at that, Sue. You could have butterflies on your header and your front page could be something about your home 
is very much about branding. Look, my my house manual has my the front of my house. It says Eveland. Every page says Eveland because that's the, my, the name of my home and my website. All right. So in addition to the house manual essentials, you get the neighborhood template and you get a transportation template. You get airports, um, headers, train headers, ferries, um, tuk-tuks because I was in Guatemala and, and, and I had the tuk-tuk experience and all of that. In addition, you get an instructions manual. This is a step-by-step -step outline on how to fill out the template, all right? It asks you questions, questions about your house rule. Think about it. Sometimes we're sort of like, you know, not knowing what kind of house rules we wanna do, but you know, this will make you think about how to go about it and what to do, all right? So it's included in all this. Believe me, this is a big, big um, template. And now it, I also format it on Keynote, on PowerPoint, and on Word. So you download a zip file and it's, you use whichever program you're more comfortable with. You don't have to be, you're not tied down to just one thing, all right? And this is some of the testimonials. So um, um, Judalone bought it and she loved it. She loved how professional it looks and all that because it's really easy. It's great for your home. Also, Carmen here, um, it's really easy for text on, you know, if you, you don't have to be tech savvy. You just print it, fill it out, and let it go, okay? Look, Angela, you're in the wine country, so you could have some um, great wine, uh, vineyard information, <laughs> put the bottles down, um, or anything like that. Now, how much it costs is $39. That's it. It's one-time payment. That's it. You grab the, the, the download. You could use it for as many listings as you have. It doesn't really matter because it's yours. It includes the house manual template, like I said before, the transportation, the neighborhood. It's adaptable to your listing. You could totally adopt it. Multiple themes if you don't want to adopt it. Um, and it's formatted in PowerPoint and Keynote and Word. Um, so for you who is here and that you come to my webinars, I am offering it's a fast action bonus. Sometime next week, we're going to do a template creation class where we will be online. You download your template. After you buy it, we're going to sit online as a group and we're going to create the template. I do not want this template to just sit on your computer without you guys doing anything with it, all right? I want you to utilize it. And by the, the week after, you will have it printed and on the binder. And I want you to send me photos for, of it because I want to highlight you about this. I am very, very proud of this template, okay? Um, so it's a, you know, I'm including the free temp, um, template creation class because I don't want it to sit there. We create memories. This is what we do. We don't just rent a room, we create memories. But in addition to creating memories for our guests, we want to have our own memories and we want to have, um, our own lives. Now, Adrian, do we need one of those programs to work this? Not necessarily. If you, um, what kind of pro program do you use? I mean, and if you have Google Docs, I have this on Google Docs as, as well. Yes, you could change the color schemes. You could totally change the color schemes. You could change the headers. You could change anything you want. It's all designed already, so you don't have that much work to do. I just, I make it really, really simple. So, um, do you, have any questions about this um so that we can ask and answer them um anybody out there not sure if i have any of the programs adrian we could just work it out and um don't worry about it i could hold you i will i will be there for you and i will make sure that if you don't have the programs i could work it out for you um, if you don't, I print it, you print at home or you could print at Kinko's or something like that or Staples. How many do you have? I only have about a three day term, um, itineraries. I don't do more than three days because I figure if you're here more than three days, you're going to figure out what you want to do. Um, I do have safety if issues, Suzanne. Um, I, I am a firm believer that you need to have safety information in your itinerary, in your house manual from what to dial if there's an emergency 
I have instructions because I have children guards um, windows in, in my house and they're very specific. I have hospital information, police information. So that's all set up already in it. So you have to let people know that they cannot keep the binder or take it out of the house. They don't, they know. No, no, I don't. They do take the pages sometimes and they put it back. Um, but they, you know, and you could just reprint it again. That is a by inch is the template size adjustable. It is adjustable to your size, yes. Um, do we print and then into a binder with a bound that it's not bind as a book, you you bind it at home. Um, just put it in a binder because you all you all you get in is the template. And at home, you download it, you fill it out, and you know you download it, and you could adjust the information as many times as you want to. You know, Jen, they do read my book, and what I have realized, I make a point that I show it to them. And not only do I have all this information, I have recycling information, I have remote control information, I have AC information, it is, and it is all set up on this house manual for you. So I, I show it to the people. They really love it. I had just had guests coming for a wedding and she was really like, oh my God, thank you so much. They're self-sufficient. They don't have to be calling me. Um, Marie, you could use it for all, both properties. You could, you're just getting one, you know, one template and you just use it for either one that you want. Yes, Marie, you could use it as many times as you want to, as many listings as you want to. Uh, my request is that not to give it to just everybody because we did spend a lot of time creating this for you uh it's too long at four pages well the question is is it depends on how it is set up um because i have it very much divided into sessions it's sort of you have the house essentials which is the most inf most important information and then after that i have divided at the binder as restaurant which they always go to and then things to do in the neighborhood and things to do outside of the neighborhood like in in different parts of new york city um setting off the alarm and not knowing how to turn it off even when there are instructions in the manual and it seems for this well if you have issues in reference of alarm i will put a little bit of a i will i will make something and put it on a frame right next to the alarm so provide information really 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 details um i will i will i don't know about easy mapper i will need to check it out I think I just have to make it more visually interesting. Um, well, Jim, I, I mean, I'm telling you, you could just do some some frames, really just highlight the information for you. Do you allow guests to electronic so they know things before? Um, you could, but I don't give them that much information, David, because sometimes guests are overwhelmed already to begin with. And what I might do is like, if they ask me, Hey, do you have, how do I get to the, from the airport to your house? Because it's in the house manual. I just copy that part and send it to them. Do you have a number of pages you suggest? It really depends on your home because let's say for example, mine has evolved and it's a book. It's a buy, it's a book. Um, but it, again, the house portion, which is essential, that's, the most you need to have like if you're going to have anything you have to have your home information unless you want your guests to be calling you all the time and interrupting your life um that could be about four or five pages but it depends like i have separate pages for recycling information so you know it really depends on that yes exactly some small notices help for panic questions especially items that if a guest keeps asking you, multiple guests ask you the same questions again and again and again, it means that your information is not clear. So, you know, I have done with recycling is one of my biggest issues. I hate having to go through the trash. So I've put, I've put stickers on the trash. I have pages of recycling. You know, I show them the recycling as part of my tour. And I make sure that they're very, very clear about it. All right. Yes, Adrienne, I have the Wi-Fi password on my guidebook. I mean, on my house manual as well. Hi, Betty from Canada. Yeah, look, you have to brand your space. Right now, as you well know, um, Airbnb has grown bigger than they th probably thought that it was going to, um, to be. And we have to just make ourselves a little bit what makes us different from others and believe me and for me my house manual has been one of those things 
you could read it on my reviews. I have tons of reviews where they talk about it. Yeah, stickers are great. Um, and especially if you have people with different multiple languages that come to your house, it's great to have some icons or images that will reinforce the information without the language. Yes, the PowerPoint could be presented. It will be sent to you. In addition, for those that stayed all the way to here, I have a checklist for you guys that I created so you know exactly what you need on your house manual. If you're going to create it on your own, I look, I just want you to have the best information for you and your guests and for your guests to stop calling you. I mean, don't you get tired of those you know, phone calls all the time where it's like, oh, but what's the Wi-Fi? Oh, but how do I turn on the TV? Oh my God, how do I turn this off? You know, believe me, I used to get them and then it became like, oh, let me put, give that information. Oh, let me give that other information. So it's, it's a great thing. And I'm gonna show you a little bit. Let me just share the screen of the, of what I created as a checklist, which you will be getting. Hello. Um, it is right here. Um, so you're gonna be get getting this as well. Um, so it has about it um, all everything that we just spoke about and what you need in your house manual. If you decide to buy the template, I totally understand. It's okay, um, but you, I want you to at least have the information for you to build your own house manual. Okay. Um, Janine was asking about Airbnb with a baby and pregnant or that will want to stay with me. Janine, people do stay with people with babies. It happens all the times and with families. Um, so uh, anybody else has any questions um, about it? And uh, <laughs> I, one of the things I'm thinking of creating is actually a, a private Facebook group where we get to um, talk a little bit more and, and provide a lot of information for each other. Yes, of course I will love. Yes, the images can be edited to your own. Yes, you could totally change all the headers and everything else and color schemes and everything else. Um, one of the, the house manuals is called Make Your Own and, and it's basically just very simple. So you see you have people that could stay with you, Janine. More tourist tours, or do you have information? I do have some information for business travelers, but it's geared more towards the tourists. Um, one of the business travelers that came to my home, because I have a template that I send whenever I have a reservation, he said to have a template for business people, and I'm creating that. You know, um, yes. So you, Deborah, you like that a Facebook page? All right, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm on the process of working on that. I want it to be anybody that's in my group and that's part of it, um, just to go into a Facebook com, um, conversation. Okay, Judalyn, yes, we could, we could. You, you were one of the first buyers, and so you're definitely part of the part of the class. Um. Okay. Yes, Jeanette has a great little Facebook group um, that is really, really, really good. Okay, so I know that Facebook is a, it will be a great place for us to, to have conversations and everything else, which is guest groups that have a big manual in the house also. Yes, okay. Yeah, look, manuals are great. They're just a fantastic... Very important information you, for you to buy it is go to evelynbadia.com slash house manual. Um, and it's just easy. It's all set up that the website collects your information. It doesn't come through me or anything like that. So it's, it's really, really, really simple. I was a graphic and I tried to lose. No need to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. <laughs> so you just buy it at evelynbadia.com slash House manual and look, I'm gonna do. I want to hold your hand and do this with you next week. Once we have a nice little groups, I'm gonna do a couple of different time zones so nobody say like, "Oh my God, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't want to wake up at four o'clock in the morning." Um, you know, but you can. We want to make sure that you get you that you do this. Judalyn, <laughs> don't worry about it. You know you cover. I love you. 
Yes, Sue. Look, start with the checklist. If, and if you feel overwhelmed, the house manual will be there. The templates will be on my side for you to buy in any time in, in the future or anything like that. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, my God, I could only get it this way. I want you to be empowered and for you to provide information to, to your guests. Do you have any space in your menu for guests to comment about the experience? I don't. Um, I don't have it. I don't have – I have a guest book, and people don't tend to use it. Um, but you could just totally, um, have a, some guests do give me recommendations of restaurants. And my question is always, um, is the book worthy? The, the session next week, I'm working out the schedules right now, but I will let you know with plenty of time. Um, uh, Megan, what was Megan's question? I have a separate guest book. Um, you could have some blank pages and in it on the um, headers what i did was i gave you a couple of just headers with blank pages so like that you could just fill out with whatever extra information that you want um yes sure um christy i could show you a little bit more of what the house manual looks let me just go to them because we have tons of them and let me just show you exactly what it looks like so you have an idea and thank you so much. Now I know that I need to give that in, I need to provide that for next time for my next um, class. So let me do this on Keynote and I will share it with you. Um, I'm just opening the program and, and I will show you the information. Okay, let me just share this with you. Oh, <laughs> all right, let me share the screen. I now have way too many screens open. And I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. Yeah, and come on, don't you love the market? My friends were like, no, don't put a market there. Um, yes, I'm going to show you what they have next week of working session. I am working out the schedule again. Let me just show you this and show you the manual. So this is the, one of the England templates. Let me just see exactly which one you're seeing, which is this one. All right. So this is how it starts. Um, this is your welcome page for you guests where you will fill out information. You put your photo there. I have, we have a couple of opening um, front of it, up front pages that are different. So like that you could change them. Then it goes with the welcome message. And as you see, it's really beautiful, I think. Um, then it has the emergency information here. So all you have to do is fill it out. One of my biggest things is, is for you to, you know, whether in the United States is 911, but whatever number that they could call. Um, can you show a finished manual? Um, unfortunately, I, I will tomorrow. I have personal information on mine. Uh, <laughs> you want me to show you mine? All right, let me see what I can do with mine. What can I show you? Because um, mine is on, lives on the net. Welcome to Eveland, and I will show you one of mine. <laughs> and this is, let me just, you guys are asking for a lot. Wow. All right, let me show you a little bit of mine. I just don't want to, I want to be careful with what I show because he has my address and, and all of that information, and as much as I like you. All right, let me just show you this one this part right here all right okay so this is the emergency page on mine um as you can see i mentioned that i have some special window um <laughs> i know so you guys are super host because um oh you want a restaurant page for example okay Juliet, um, that's going to be a little bit more complicated. But look, for example, this is the emergency information. So it has all of this. Let me see um, 
my uh, what to do one. It's just that I have it on the internet and I didn't think I was going to be showing you guys this. Now I know that for tomorrow you want this. All right, New York trains and airports. Let me show you that that portion of my book. Percent in escape. And let me show you that one in a new window so you can see it. You just want all of my stuff. And believe me, I've had people ask me about this book for many, many, many times. Um, no, no, it's, it's, the books is not in here in my presence, but basically this is the train portion one of my book. So as you see, I have like a little Google map. Um, it tells them the stations. I give them information about trains. Um, this is the airport information. It's just, I'm sorry, my, my book cover has my address in it. So um that's the the reason so this is part of the airport information um from different airports to grand central um and Staten island ferry so you know i just provide different neighborhood info or city i have both so as you could see this is more of the airport and transportation information and let me just show you the other one, which this has, this is more of my home information. When you want to come out and visit me, please come and visit me. Come now. It's a slow season here in New York. Things are deadly, deadly um, slow. Thankfully, summer's coming. Yeah, it's very simple. It's very clean. Um, you don't want for people to be a little bit, you know, confused or things like that. Um, you see, I'm giving you, all right. So as you can see, this is my part of the interior of the book. Um, do you see PowerPoint to create yours? There's a PowerPoint um, format. I use Google Docs a lot. So this is all created on Google, but I have created it on PowerPoint, on Word, and on um, Keynote, okay? What else? can i say and let me just go back to my dear smart cat even though you know my friends don't like him only some friends like the smart cat google docs is free and the beautiful thing with google docs is that it lives on the internet and you could connect anywhere yes you can edit the headers yes this is a session for yes there is a session for climate control um I don't have an index page, but you could totally create one. There's no no problem with that. Um, and if you want, I mean, it's just because then it will be page numbers on the indexes. And then, you know, what I have done is I just created separations on the binder. So the, the first part of the binder has the house information, which is the essentials. And then the different parts of the binders, the different tabs have restaurants. Another one has things to do in the neighborhood, sort of like the grocery store, like those logistical things, pharmacy that you need. Um, it's just, look, you want your guests to be empowered and you want the questions to be stopped, really. It just becomes this, like, I just don't want to be, you know, asked the same questions again, again, again. So I don't see, exactly. <laughs> so the binder will be awesome. Exactly, Megan, the binder is a great tool. Thank you for the time and sharing you. It is my pleasure, Ashton, really. And then I will be sending you all the checklists so that you have it. Even if you don't buy the template, you have the information so you can create. Um, Jennifer, I totally understand about getting your December and January. Things are slow here in New York. I hope you follow me and getting. Yes, you're going to add extra headings. It's all set up for you to be able to add extra headings. It is super quiet. Um, I'm doing some marketing tips on Mondays on my website. Um, one of them I, I gave this last one was about posting, using your reviews for a part of your captions. Deborah, it is my pleasure. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, no, I know of a host here in New York that 
had to contact Airbnb and Airbnb told them that New York has totally expanded, blown up a lot more than they thought. Um, thank you. When I input the web page, all I get is your main page. Is there a session of the manual? Yes, it's evelynbadia.com backslash house manual. It's in the header as well. There's a navigation and you see that it says, let me just share this with you as well. Um, so you can see it that it says house manual and everything else um you see things that i know now that i have to share with you you teach me so much you have no idea how much you teach me and i appreciate it and now i don't see it i don't see you where did i put you okay let me share stop and present and show okay so if this is the website, and if you go here, you see it says house manual on top. If you click there, it's going to take you right here to the house manual page. And you see it just says get manual. It has a little bit of information. It shows you a little bit of the templates. It shows you the instruction manual. It's really simple. All you do is you say, I want it, click it. Jude alone, you're here. Look, you be amazing review. Thank you so much for it. Um, and just a lot of information about it. The reviews from my guests. This is all on my Airbnb site as well. And this is what life is gonna be like afterwards, where after the house manual, you get to live more. All right. So this is it. And all you do is just go, go to evelynbadia.com backslash house manual and just click on house manual. From here, you can click on get the manual. It takes you to here, to the different templates that I've created. You get make your own if you want to get your own design. And once you click on it, you see, it takes you here where it show tell, gives you a little bit of information of what to do, okay? Really, really, really simple. Do we have to pick uh, the end? Um, what do you mean? Yeah, you pick a theme, just pick a theme, uh, but you could adjust any of the themes. Basically, um, as you see here, I did, I've done a few themes. So we have New York, we have Australia, we have England, Greece and France, um, some Italy themes, San Francisco, some beach themes and some mountain themes. I will continue to add to them. Um, but you, because you can totally add it your own, you can make it your own. Marketing is super important. If you come and once your friends might like me, and I have a lot of kinds of restaurants in my house, those makes it exactly. And I have the same thing, Juliet. I, I have totally, so I need to, I guess I need to make Seattle, um, Adrienne. I don't have Seattle, but I will if, if that's, that's what makes it. <laughs> and what I try to do is basically look. If you click on on um, France theme, you have different headers. These are the headers, looks and feels. So you have different choices. It's not like you just have Paris. So you see, it has from vintages um, to to our dear, lovely, lovely Eiffel Tower to just the city. So you have choices, or you could actually just adjust this theme for your own. Okay. Any other questions? People here first so they can read the manual. <laughs> no, actually, you need to have the manual so that when they get there, they're all ready for you. I love you. Can you talk more about using reviews in the captions? Yes, I could talk a little bit about that. So one of the things you do is you highlight a feature in your photo that has been highlighted on a review. For example, if your guest says mentions on your review and part of it, Oh my God, the beds were super comfortable. I slept like a baby. And they're saying all these wonderful things. All you take is, I slept like a baby. The bed was super comfortable. I couldn't get up. And you grab just that portion where you're showing the bed. You grab the name of the person and you put that as the caption. Okay. And I'm going to be doing a master class about how to set up your listing for mobile. One of the things that we learned at the Airbnb open was that over 60 percent of reservations are done through mobile and reviews are getting they get very very hidden so we're going to be doing a class about that and how to go about you know setting up your your space 
so that it's mobile friendly. Uh, no, you just buy one theme. That's it, and you make it your own. Um, if you're in Paris or whatever, you just make buy one thing. Any other? I'm sorry. What happened with Diana? Been super busy for the last year and a half, and now it's dead. Diana, it's really dead here in New York. It's been one of the slowest seasons I've ever had in the last five, six years. It is very, very scary how slow things are. And I think you know one of the things we have to do is basically up our game. Um, you will be notified if you're part of my newsletter, you will be notified about the, the next webinar. Um, the webinar in February is going to be about taxes, my dear host. We're going to be talking about taxes next month. In addition, we're going to have another host educator. The mobile listing webinar will be probably after tax season. I, I've been working on this webinar for a while, so it's going to take me a little while to set up the next webinar because it's just they just take a lot of information all right so but the next webinar in february is going to be about taxes and we're also going to do i know yeah taxes i know believe me i'm not looking forward to it yeah it's 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 really really scary how how the slow season has really slowed down um i think a lot has to do with competition and i would love to ask the people of an Airbnb, will they stop getting hosts when we're saturated? Um, TaskRabbit does that. TaskRabbit stops getting, you know, rabbits, as they, they say it, um, when they have way too many. Thank you so much, <laughs> Megan. It is my pleasure. And your competition, now Jennifer, how do you know that your competition is busy? Are you sure that they're not just blocking time, uh, days off? Because I, I've blocked time off here to do some construction. I also, one of the things I'm doing is I'm, select, I'm, I'm allowing one night um, turnovers, one night guests, which I normally don't do. I'm even allowing a party in my house, which I normally don't do. But you know, I make a living as an Airbnb host. This is what pays the bills. And so, you know, yeah, exactly. You signed up for Tax Robin 2014. I said, you know, I mean, and I wish Airbnb would do that. We'll say, look, we're saturated. The market is saturated. Can we just, um, you know, oh, Ashley, I'm so glad to be here. Believe me, I know it's, it's, you know, we are great. And I'm so, so happy to be here and to be able to help you out with anything that you guys need. One night turnover means just a guest that comes for one night. I normally do a two night minimum. But at the moment, I'm select. I'm allowing one nighters, because you know, it's too money. It is a little bit more work, um, just because you you turn it on people quicker. But um, I I did get one in January, and thankfully, you paid for it early. Beautiful website. Do you recommend we pull stock photos? Um, Chrissy, I recommend Unsplash. Great, great, great um, site to get photos. If you send me the name of your city, I will try to pull some stuff out for you as well because we're just trying to um, fill up the, the themes. Judith, um, I do have instant booking in one of my one of my listings on the one that does not share with me, um, and that brings you up in the algorithm. But I don't do instant bookings in the space that shares with me. I like to have a conversation with the guests before they, anybody books. Okay, so Nashville, Tennessee. Let's see what we can find for you. And we could build something, you know, by tonight or so. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, Monday marketing is go to my site, and I'm gonna be posting. I'm posting them on the Facebook group as well, on my Facebook page, and on Twitter. So, and I'm also putting it on different Airbnb groups and everything else, just so that we could, so we can learn. We can learn from each other. Um, you know, we we doing this. I clicked on get the manual, then it took me to a page to sign up for newsletters, but no way to pay for the manual. Um, it should be able, to, Juliet, it should be able to get you there to the next thing. I'm sorry that, um, let me just find out what's going on after the, after this class. As for, can you say this, friend? I know, I know, Kathy, believe me, I totally understand. My Facebook page is Evelyn Badia Consultations, and you can totally find me there. Um, there's a link on my site that will take you to it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, Deborah. I will be sending out the checklist to everybody that attended and stayed to the end. 
um i will send you guys um a little recap and everything else and i will send you the link again it should be working i'm surprised that um that it's not working i will i will work on that because we believe me we did a lot of quality control today and it was working thank you so much it is my pleasure to be here with you and thank you for you know coming anyone using other booking services i use flip key um they also i got like but i get like one booking or you know a year i get like four or five bookings from flip key i know some hosts that use booking.com as well and i will say look don't put all your eggs in one basket just keep you know put things in different places okay i will sue i will totally send you stuff every i will send everybody some stuff after when I don't use VRBO. I don't like the idea of paying for something up front. Pat, please make um make sure that you get Jack's information. You're welcome, Emery. Um, I'm sorry. You know, we just did all of this, and it was working today. I had like five different people download it. Exactly. I mean, look, my problem with flip keys is that they're not the same kind of guests as Airbnb. They're sort of like, eh. you know, they're just like, hey, uh, is your place available? At least with Airbnb, they give you a little bit more information. And I don't like that I cannot review my guests. I want to be able to say, hey, I had a guest from flip key who went on their own and, and put the air conditioners in the house without contacting me. And I was not happy with about that. Yes, you click on the manual button, then you click on the theme you want. Exactly. That's that's how you go because the manual pay button is the page for it, and then you go to it. Yes. Um, Flipkey, they don't book for that much. I mean, I haven't had that experience. My, my stays with Flipkey depends. It could be from three days a weekend to four or five days. Adrian, the same thing. The... <laughs> I know Jennifer, the Airbnb super host. I mean, what system? <laughs> Is there a system really? Oh, yes, 99% of our Airbnb hosts are exceptionals. They are. I mean, of our guests, they tend to be. Since then, one inquiry wanted three guests, but I just cannot accommodate more than two. I, I Katie, I understand. I understand. Things things are rough out there. Look, the way I see the slow season is this. If if I was to have a long-term tenant or roommate and I'm making the same amount of money that I would make with them, um, I would just, um, I'd be doing fine. For example, I have a two bedroom apartment that is a listing. If I was to have a long-term tenant there, I would get about $2,000 a month, right? So if I'm making that in the slow season for that apartment, I'm okay. I don't expect to be making what I make during the summertime. Okay. So I know I don't like if you and I feel the same way. I, you don't have any information. You don't know who they are or anything like that. It's, it's a little bit. Um, and they just don't really tell you a lot of info either when they inquire. Any other questions, guys? Fiona, thank you guys so much. You guys, you ladies are amazing. I love it. You still 40, 50 people here still on, on the group, on the talk. I'm, I'm going to stay as long as we need to stay. Um, and, and I will send out an email with any issues or anything like that. Well, it seems like somebody, it seems like it's working because somebody just, um, I just got an, an order form. So it seems like it's, it's working the, the link. Yeah, somebody, um, my dearest Mary bought the make your own. So I think it's working. Um, you sign up to the newsletter from my website. There's a subscription button there. And you just you also get a checklist of what you need in your home. Experience with so far, I have only used them in the initial four years. I was booked full up to the past year. Was still, yeah, exactly. That's, that's exactly what happened to me about two years ago. I only use Airbnb. I didn't want to be using anybody else. And I had a 4th of July that was empty. And I was sort of like, that is not a good thing. I should not be empty on a 4th of July in New York City. And I went to FlipKey. And oh, the great thing with FlipKey is they sync your calendar with Airbnb. So if you have a booking on Airbnb, 
your flip key calendar is, is blocked, Airbnb does not do the, the same thing. Okay. So if you get a booking with with flip key, you gotta make sure that your calendar that you book your that you block your calendar on Airbnb. Okay, so that's the one thing that I will have to say. But you know, with the same thing in reference of flip key and book key in Airbnb where um they collect the money for you and they pay you after the guest checks in. Unfortunate part about it is you don't get to review your guests. There's no photos, there's nothing like that, like Airbnb. I'm hoping that they will change that. Okay. Any other questions? Anything else, my dear friends? And and are we prepping that um webinar for setting up your space for mobile it's just it's going to be a big one because there's a lot of information that i have to collect and information that um and everything else <laughs> yes i know megan that happened to me once where i oh you know double book stuff and thankfully you know the people were really really nice but yeah what i will say is just don't um don't cancel your guest offer them anything you want but don't cancel your guests on airbnb because you can the tax feel, um, I'm sorry, Donna, I don't understand the question. When is Airbnb going to add a tax feel? You mean for the reservations? It depends on your city and it depends on the, on what, if they can collect it. I know that in New York, they cannot collect taxes. In addition, we do not need to pay hotel taxes since we are not hotels, at least as of today. Who knows what's going to happen tomorrow? But I know that in different cities and different states, Airbnb is collecting taxes on behalf of the governments. Um, when they're not collecting it, it's because they are not allowed. Any other questions? My city charges 10 percent tenancy to have Airbnb flip key has a feel. Yeah, Airbnb doesn't have it. I know. You know, I'm I'm hoping that they they'll get it together. I feel like since there are so many super hosts, if you are not one, that they are more critical. You know, Jennifer, guests don't know what a super host is. They really don't. Um, I had a webinar where we asked a guest, and they're good friends of mine, and they use Airbnb a lot. And mind you, they're friends of mine. They don't even know what a super host is because, I mean, it's not like I'm saying, hey, I'm a super host, and I'm wearing a cap around the, um, dinner with my friends. But they didn't even know, and they book Airbnb through all of their vacation. Wow, that's a big, um, now Angela, do you adjust it on your prices? Or do you charge extra to your guest for that 11% hotel tax? Um, I have to pay quarterly transient occupancy tax, Murray. Yeah, we don't, we're not there yet. <laughs> I know, right? A big crown that says super hose. Um, wow, 13%. That's big. That's big. That's a lot. Super hose means nothing to guess. Exactly. It doesn't mean anything to guess. They don't know it. They don't know what it means. They're like, whatever. Yes. The teams are did set of pictures of colors, but they have the same sessions and content. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Okay. Thank you, Pat, for answering some other questions. Charge, charge after the boost gets so upset sometimes. Yeah, I totally could understand. I would say, Donna, you need to be transparent about things like that on your re on your description and also mention it in your communication with the guests. Well, you know, the problem with long-term bookings is that it blocks you out of it. And also, you're probably not making as much money as you could. But because things are slow, it depends on your city, Susan. And, and it depends on... Um, Everything that you're doing. They should put description under the super host. I know. I know. They should, but they don't. I mean, I think now when you inquire, I'm, I'm going to San Diego and I'm staying on an Airbnb and they have like, as a, as a, um, as one of the fields for you to look for is for just people that are super host. I have it on a book and I have it on the table. And, and what I do is I, I make sure that it's on the kitchen table for them to see it. Um, supposed to. Christy's asking him super host status supposed to help your listings in search. It's supposed to, but, you know, who knows? 
Who knows what the truth is? I believe it actually works against me when trying to book stays as property. So how come, Marie? Why, why do you say it works against you? Oh, Megan is saying cool things. I feel like my guests have high expectations. Yes, Jennifer, they do have high expectations. Um, you know, and, and what happens with super hosting is sort of we get into this like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I need to hold on to it. And and sometimes we bend over backwards for it, guess, and when it's sometimes not necessary. Don't want to have Evelyn, do you use a better quality heavyweight paper? No, 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 I don't. I print it here at the house. I don't use any heavyweight paper. Believe me, the papers, the guests are going to go through your book. They're going to use it. They're going to abuse it. So you want to be printed. So, you know, just regular paper is fine. Yeah. Yeah, just print it. Do you, if you, um, and do you have a printer at home or at your job? If, you know, if you're working outside of your house, new hosts have asked me to stay a bit longer. Check out quick tip the property. <laughs> exactly. Tell them, please. You know, I know, you know, what's, what's the funny thing is whenever I said at a, any, Airbnb listing, I don't critique them, um, especially because of what I do for a living, which is consult. I mean, and I'm like, look, I have, um, I could give you some insights, as I mentioned them, but um, I'm very careful with it. Just, I only do it if they ask me to. I, I really don't, I try not to. Yes, I have some plastic sleeves, and but remember that guests will probably check out the pages. Especially for restaurants and things like that, they will probably take them out with themselves. But you could also PDF it and send it to them. You to, to, what you do is you do a little PDF of the different sessions, and you could email it to the guests so the guests have it with them. Has booked for eight weeks. She's never asked for a discount. Love it. Love this book. The, love those those guests that don't ask for a discount. I have recurring guests that you know that I love about that. All right, so it's 9.15 and we're still here and the room is still full. 38 people are still there and I, I will stay with you. <laughs> um, yeah, my I'm, I am recreating my binder I, about once a year. I go through my book and take out restaurants that don't exist anymore and add some new ones. One of the things that I'm getting a lot of um, in questions for are vegan and restaurants that are vegan or vegetarians and people that have some sort of allergies so i make sure that i have a couple of restaurants in there that are specific for their dietary needs oh wow oh wow <laughs> december through april for twenty four thousand dollars. that's a nice one um i let my recurring guest bring her dog well i guess because you know the recurring guest I just had a guest that had a dog in my house, too. We hope for more visitors, but it's not happening. Mm. Are you getting more competition? Where are you, Beatty? Pete, beat, beat. Good night. Thank you so much, Kathy. Good night. It's a pleasure to have you here. Yes, it's, it's. Yeah, it's totally worth it. I mean, and look, your guests will appreciate it. You're giving them, you know, we're me memory makers, as I stated before. We're creating really great memories for our de lovely, lovely guests. All right, my dears, it is 9.15 at night. Um, if you guys, if you ladies or, and gentlemen have any more questions, um... So you live in, in L.A. and in your place in Ventura, California. I'm Canadian, too, hoping... The, the low Canadian will attract more Americans. I know. It's just, you know, I should go make dinner. <laughs> well, Marie, thank you so much. Um, it's a pleasure hosting you. And please, I will let you know of for next week. Oh, my God. I have a tree house. I would love that. That must be kind of cool. Thank you so much. Until next time, Ronnie. Adrian, thank you so much. I know. I'm Believe me, I'm, I'm doing a lot of traveling. I actually was thinking about doing a little program where we go city to city and do different uh, workshops. Uh, but, you know, that might be 2017. Um, yes, gentlemen, Mr. Craig. Um, that will be a 2017 project of doing traveling workshops in different cities. This morning I had two vacant days, and one of them at the 31st, I still could book, I hope. 
Fiona, you complaining you have two vacant days only? Oh my God. Or or you only two books. I know Janine, I have to go to Hawaii. Have a great dinner. Uh Jude alone. We had to make it tonight. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, it's been a pleasure having you. Please create a lovely, lovely, lovely house manual for your lovely guests and for them to stop calling you. <laughs> it's it's my goal for them not to call you, for them to have all their answers in the book. All right, dearest, I am going to um, stop the broadcast. Have a fantastic night. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here. Have a good night. Ah. <sighs>